Hello everyone, myself Vinita Sukhadia, civil engineer by profession, welcome you on my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to show you a house plan in the built up area of 30 feet by 45 feet. So without wasting time, let's get started. Here, our built up area is 30 feet by 45 feet. That is, the horizontal dimension is 30 feet out to out, whereas the vertical dimension is 45 feet out to out. Right? North line is marked over here and our veranda is placed over here. So, from the north line, it is clear that the veranda is facing towards north. In short, our house is facing towards north. Now suppose if the client is having the requirement of two bedrooms, separate bath and water closet on the ground floor itself. So keeping in mind the requirements of client, let's just propose a plan which covers two bedrooms, separate bath water closet kitchen and drawing room on the ground floor itself. So here only ground floor plan is shown. So starting from veranda. The dimensions of the veranda provided here are 10 feet 9 inch by 6 feet. That is the horizontal dimension of veranda is 10 feet 9 inch whereas the vertical dimension of the same is 6 feet. Now if we pass the door D1 over here then we will get the entry in drawing room. The dimension of the drawing room are 17 feet 9 inch by 15 feet 10.5 inch. All the dimensions of the room are in to in whereas the thickness of external wall and internal wall are taken as 9 inch. So here the horizontal dimension of drawing room is 17 feet 9 inch whereas the vertical dimension of the drawing room is 15 feet 10.5 inch into in. The thickness of external wall as well as internal wall is 9 inch here. Right. The drawing room is kept in the northeast quadrant and which is best from the aspect point of view. Now if we pass the door D2 over here, then we will get the entry in bedroom 1. Dimension of the bedroom 1 is 10 feet by 12 feet 6 inch into in. Horizontal dimension of the bedroom 1 is 10 feet into in and vertical dimension of the bedroom 1 is 12 feet 6 inch into in. Bedroom 1 is kept in the northwest quadrant. Now beside drawing room in the passage of 6 feet 4.5 inch I have placed staircase. The number of treads over here are 18. See. 8 numbers of treads are here. 8 numbers of treads are here. So 8 plus 8 16. This is 17 and this is 18. So number of treads over here are 18. So obviously numbers of risers would be 18 plus 1 that is 19. Our floor height is 10 feet. Right. So here in the passage of 6 feet 4.5 inch I have prepared staircase or I have planned staircase right numbers of treads are 18 8 numbers of treads are here 8 numbers of treads are here 8 plus 8 16 this is 17 and this is 18 right so numbers of treads are 18 obviously the numbers of risers would be 18 plus 1 that is 19 and our floor height is 10 feet now in front of the staircase, I have provided separate bath and water closet. Talking about bath, then its dimension, 
are 6 feet by 4 feet into in. And if we talk about water closet, then the dimensions of the same are 4 feet by 4 feet into in. Bath and water closet are placed towards west, which is best from the aspect point of view. Now, behind the staircase, there is kitchen. The dimension of the same is 14 feet by 14 feet into in. The horizontal dimension is 14 feet into in and the vertical dimension of the kitchen is 14 feet into in. Here kitchen is placed towards its direction and which is suitable from the aspect point of view. If we pass the door D2 over here then we will get the entry in balcony. The dimension of the balcony is 14 feet by 5 feet into in. Here some space is left for washing utensils and clothes, right? Now if we pass the door D2 over here, then we will get the entry in bedroom 2. Dimension of the bedroom 2 are 13 feet 9 inch by 10 feet into in. Horizontal dimension of bedroom 2 is 13 feet 9 inch into in. Whereas the vertical dimension of the bedroom is 10 feet into in. If we pass the door D2 over here, then we will get the entry in balcony. The dimension of this balcony are 13 feet 9 inch by 4 feet into in. Here bedroom 2 is placed in the southwest quadrant which is most suitable from the aspect point of view. The thickness of external wall as well as internal wall is kept 9 inch over here. Now, looking forward to the openings. First, let's talk about windows. Now, in case of drawing room, we are having two numbers of windows. Both are designated as W1. In case of kitchen, also we are having two numbers of windows. Both are designated as W2. Now, if we talk about bedroom 1, then there is one window designated as W3. And in case of bedroom 2, there are two windows. Two numbers of windows are there in bedroom 2. Both of them are designated as W3. In case of bath, water closet and staircase, there are one one window individually. All of three are designated as W4, W4 and W4. So in short we are having four categories of windows W1, W2, W3 and W4. Talking about doors then we are having three categories of doors. D1 is our main door. D2 are the doors that are provided in the bedroom and kitchen. The third category of door is D3 which are provided in bath and water closet. Right. Now we are going to see the opening schedule. Here you can see the opening schedule. Right. In opening schedule, I have marked the dimensions of doors and windows. Right. Now uh, I just told you that we are having four different categories of window. W1. W2, W3 and W4. Dimensions of them are written over here in the opening schedule. Likewise, I have told you that we are having three different categories of doors marked as D1, D2 and D3. The dimensions of the doors D1, D2 and D3 are shown respectively over here in the opening schedule. Now, the following calculation is for staircase. Right. From the figure it is clear that uh, we are having how many numbers of treads? We are having 18 numbers of treads. Right. And width of each tread is equal to 10 inch. Now if the numbers of treads are 18 then numbers of risers would be 18 plus 1 that is 19. Right. We are having numbers of treads equal to 18. So, numbers of risers would be numbers of treads plus 1, 18 plus 1 that is 19, right? Our floor height is 10 feet.
feet. So, what would be the height of each riser? The height of each riser would be equal to floor height divided by the numbers of risers. So, after calculation, we are getting the height of riser equal to 6.31 inch. Thank you.